When it comes to the work that we do, and the vast selection in which there is, regarding historical mysteries, we will often seek out the more obscure, the easily missed, often overlooked items, which to this day remain enigmas. We hope that by categorizing the many bizarre, and if not for our republishing of said curiosities, we feel lost history, like so many areas of antiquity which have inevitably been forgotten. One of which is known as plumagery. It is a practice so rarely discussed, it does not even appear in many English dictionaries, yet possesses such an interesting historical connection with an equally compelling accompanying explanation for said connection, makes its obscurity not of a surprise, yet they are indeed undeniable. Plumagery is the practice of weaving bird feathers into many different forms of tribal attire. Firstly, I will quote academia's explanation for the similarly found within this rare practice found upon artifacts discovered or excavated all over the Pacific Rim. This is to display the level of contortion academia must undergo to allow such area of history to fit in with their timeline of events. Most in particular, the separation of the continents themselves, evolution history, and chronology in regards to human migration to make all aforementioned hypotheses match up and ties up with a neat bow never to be questioned again. On page 49 of Archaeological Anomalies, Small Artifacts, Bone Stole, Metal Artifacts, High Technology, Corliss makes a general observation which we feel conceals a truth unchallengeable. Quote, the art of weaving wild bird feathers into gaudy garments and adornments was practiced widely in pre-Columbian Asia, Oceania, and South and Mesoamerica. He continues with this phrase, quote, Plumagery techniques were so much alike all around the Pacific Rim that diffusion is a distinct possibility. End quote. Distinct of a word descriptive used to describe a method of identifying something or someone. For example, if plumagery of the exact same artistic construction were to be found on a continent it simply should not be upon, regardless, its characteristics making distinctly identifiable as the work of the same, thus made by people in contact with each other. This scenario to the befuddlement of those who study mainstream opinion is a real-world reality. Therefore, their own method, if identifying whether the people who made these garments in a specific way had been in contact with each other, has simply compromised their own dating methods and turns history they thought they had learned so true could maybe have a few gaps used against themselves, with the word diffusion meaning contact and sharing of knowledge and commodities. Plumagery, one more piece of a puzzle we find highly compelling.